Inequality proofs. Certain types of inequality can be proved by induction. The principle we will use to approach these inequalities is as follows. Suppose we have the inequality x is greater than y. So here's our number line and x is some value that is greater than y so it's to the right of y. And we want to change it to x is greater than z. So we want to change it to x is greater than z, so x is to the right of z, x is some number that is greater than some number z. From the diagram opposite, it is clear that this change will definitely be valid as long as y is greater or equal to z. So, so long as y is greater or equal to z, so as long as y is to the right of z, this will be true. Suppose we have the inequality x is less than y. So x is some number less than y on the number line, so x is to the left of y. And we want to change it to x is less than z. So we want to change it to x is less than z, so x is some number less than some number z, so x is to the left of z on the number line. From the diagram opposite, it is clear that this change will definitely be valid as long as y is less than or equal to z. So as long as y is some number less than or equal to z, so as long as y is to the left of z, this will be valid. To prove an inequality p of n by induction. Step 1. Identify s correctly and prove p of s is true. Step 2. Assume p of k is true, writing this down. Write down p of k plus 1. Write down p of k and change both sides so that the left hand side is as it should be in p of k plus 1. Then change the other side into what it should be in p of k plus 1. Finally, explain why this change is valid. Conclusion. Draw the usual conclusion. Note that in explaining why the change of inequality is valid, so in this step, it is important to remember that k only assumes the same value as n. For example, if we are proving an equality for n is greater or equal to 4, then s is equal to 4 and k is greater or equal to 4. Prove by induction that n plus 1 factorial is greater or equal to 3 to the power of n for n values elements of the natural number set where n is greater or equal to 5. So that explanation symbol there means factorial. So a reminder of what factorial is. So 6 with an explanation mark means 6 factorial is equal to 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. 7 with an explanation mark is 7 factorial, which would be 7 by 5 by 4 by 3 by 2 by 1. 4 with an explanation mark would be 4 factorial, which would be 4 by 3 by 2 by 1, and so on. So you have to work your way down as far as 1 multiplying each term. Okay, so p of n is n plus 1 factorial, greater or equal to 3 to the power of n, where s is equal to 5, the starting number is 5, because n must be greater or equal to 5, so the starting number must be 5. So step 1, p of 5 is going to be 5 plus 1 factorial, greater or equal to 3 to the power of 5, so we swap each of these n's for 5. 5 plus 1 is 6, so we have 6 factorial, greater or equal to 3 to the power of 5. And 6 factorial is 720, 3 to the power of 5 is 243, and this is indeed true. 720 is greater than 243. So step 2, assume p of k is true, i.e. that is, k plus 1 factorial is greater or equal to 3 to the power of k. So all we've done here is swapped each of these n's for k. So this is our assumption. So we want to prove p of k plus 1. So that is k plus 1 plus 1 factorial is greater or equal to 3 to the power of k plus 1. So we've swapped that k for k plus 1 and we've swapped that k for k plus 1. So 1 plus 1 is 2. So you get k plus 2 factorial is greater or equal to 3 to the power of k plus 1. So our assumption 
P of k was that k plus 1 factorial is greater or equal to 3 to the power of k. So we're going to multiply both sides by k plus 2. So k plus 1 factorial multiplied by k plus 2 gives us k plus 2 multiplied by k plus 1 factorial. And then 3 to the power of k multiplied by k plus 2 gives us k plus 2 times 3 to the power of k. So we've just multiplied both sides by k plus 2. Now k plus 2 times k plus 1 factorial can be simplified to k plus 2 factorial. Because if we were to write k plus 2 factorial out the long way, we would end up having k plus 2 multiplied by k plus 1 multiplied by k and so on. So this is actually equal to this. And then we have the right hand side still the same. So k plus 2 times 3 to the power of k is still just k plus 2 times 3 to the power of k. So we have k plus 2 factorial is greater or equal to k plus 2 times 3 to the power of k. And we also know that k plus 2 factorial is greater or equal to 3 to the power of k plus 1 because we got that up here. So since both of these are equal to k plus 2 factorial, we can let these equate. So we have k plus 2 times 3 to the power of k on the left is greater or equal to 3 to the power of k plus 1 on the right. So we've just equated these because these are clearly the same. Now 3 to the power of k plus 1 can be rewritten as 3 to the power 1 multiplied by 3 to the power of k, because 1 plus k is k plus 1. So we have k plus 2 times 3 to the power of k is greater or equal to 3 to the power 1 times 3 to the power of k. So we can cancel out the 3 to the power of k on either side, and we're left with k plus 2 is greater or equal to 3. So therefore k is greater or equal to 1, because 3 minus 2 is 1. So we worked out that k is greater or equal to 1, and this is true, because we know k is greater or equal to 5. Thus, p of k plus 1 is true, assuming p of k is true. Conclusion, hence, p of n is true for all n values, elements of the natural number set, where n is greater or equal to 5. Prove by induction that n squared is greater than 3n plus 1, for n values, elements of the natural number set, where n is greater or equal to 4. So p of n is n squared greater than 3n plus 1, where s, the starting number, is 4, because we're told here n is greater or equal to 4, so the starting number must be 4. So step 1, work out p of 4. So we swap each of these n's for 4. So we get 4 squared is greater than 3 times 4 plus 1. 4 squared is 16, 3 times 4 is 12 plus 1 is 13, and 16 is indeed greater than 13, so it's true. Step 2. Assume p of k is true, i.e. that is, k squared is greater than 3k plus 1. So basically we just swap each of these ends for k. So we want to prove that p of k plus 1 is k plus 1 squared greater than 3 times k plus 1 plus 1. So basically we just swapped each of these k's for k plus 1. k plus 1 squared is k squared plus 2k plus 1. 3 times k is 3k. And 3 times 1 is 3 plus 1 is 4. So this is our assumption and this is what we want to prove. So this was our assumption. k squared is greater than 3k plus 1. So we're going to add 2k plus 1 to both sides. So we have the k squared, we bring that down, and we're adding on 2k plus 1. Then we have our greater than sign. Then we bring down the 3k plus 1, and then we add on the 2k plus 1 on the right as well. So we've added 2k plus 1 to the left-hand side and the right-hand side. Now k squared plus 2k plus 1 can be factorised to give us k plus 1 times k plus 1, which is k plus 1 squared. And then 3k plus 2k is 5k, and 1 plus 1 is 2. So k plus 1 squared is greater than 5k plus 2. And up here we stated that k plus 1 squared is greater than 3k plus 4. 
So since both of these are the same, we can equate these. So we have 5k plus 2 is greater or equal to 3k plus 4. And now we simplify, so we solve for k. So 5k minus 3k is 2k, and 4 minus 2 is 2. And then dividing both sides by 2, we get k greater or equal to 1, which is true, as k is greater or equal to 4. Thus, p of k plus 1 is true, assuming p of k is true. Conclusion, hence, p of n is true for all n values elements of the natural number set, where n is greater or equal to 4. Prove by induction that 3 to the power of n is greater than n squared for all n values elements of the natural number set, where n is greater or equal to 2. So p of n is 3 to the power of n greater than n squared, where s, the starting number, is equal to 2, because n is greater or equal to 2. So step 1, work out p of 2. So we sub each of those n's for 2, so we get 3 squared greater than 2 squared, which gives us 9 greater than 4, which is true. 9 is indeed greater than 4. Step 2. Assume p of k is true, i.e. that is, 3 to the power of k is greater than k squared. So we're basically just swapping each of those n's for k. Now prove p of k plus 1. So 3 to the power of k plus 1 is greater than k plus 1 squared. So we're swapping each of those k's for k plus 1. And k plus 1 squared can be multiplied out as k squared plus 2k plus 1. So 3 to the power of k plus 1 is greater than k squared plus 2k plus 1. This is what we want to prove. And we're going to use our assumption to do that. So this is our assumption, and this is what we want to prove. So from p of k, so our assumption was that 3 to the power of k is greater than k squared. So we're going to multiply both sides by 3. So we're going to have 3 to the power of 1 times 3 to the power of k is greater than 3 times k squared. So we're multiplying both sides by 3. 3 to the power of 1 times 3 to the power of k is 3 to the power of k plus 1. And 3 times k squared is 3k squared. So we're stating that 3 to the power of k plus 1 is greater than 3k squared. And we already had up here that 3 to the power of k plus 1 is greater than k squared plus 2k plus 1. So since these are the same, we can equate both of these. So we have 3k squared is greater or equal to k squared plus 2k plus 1. So next we solve for k. So we bring the k squared over the equal sign, it becomes minus k squared. So 3k squared minus 1k squared is 2k squared. And then we bring the 2k over the equal sign, it becomes minus 2k. And we keep the plus 1 on the right-hand side. Next, we factorise. So we're going to take out the 2k as the HCF, the highest common factor. 2k into 2k squared leaves us with k. And 2k into minus 2k leaves us with minus 1. So we have 2k times k minus 1 is greater or equal to 1. So as k is greater or equal to 2... 2k times k minus 1 is equal to 2 times 2 times 1. So 2 times k becomes 2 times 2. And 2 minus 1 becomes 1. And 2 times 2 times 1 is 4. Thus, 2k times k minus 1 greater or equal to 1 is true. Thus, p of k plus 1 is true, assuming p of k is true. Conclusion, hence, p of n is true for all n values elements of the natural number set, where n is greater or equal to 2.